Cat people, how are you today? I am Cat Lady Andigoni, and today we are doing this black and white skull. As you probably already saw from the intro, this makeup will be a lot different from what I'm doing in general. So I'm starting by doing the skull slowly in order not to waste time. And if I'm looking down, I'm looking at my mirror. Anyway, the idea is based on black and white photography and I'm gonna follow kind of different techniques because the whole concept is for me to be able to photograph it only with black and white colors and I don't care that much about colors and this is actually very weird for me to say this it's my first time and my first ex experiment when I'm doing this to be honest I have never tried this art style and it's my first time so I really don't know what to expect I'm not sure about a lot of things that I'm planning to do here but hopefully everything will turn out good <laughs> or good enough anyway another thing that I would like to mention is that today I'm not going for the full torso like I'm usually doing because I want to give some more details to what I'm doing and I feel that if I'm a little bit more limited I think that the result will be better and that's why I decide to stop around the line that I have here and not go down. So, with this said, I don't know, wish me good luck and we will see what will happen. And I'm moving on to the bones. Now I'm gonna take this color right here from Julen Spiegel. I'm gonna add some water and I'm ready to use it. While I'm doing this, let me tell you some things about black and white photography and makeup in general. So I could have done this with completely different colors. What I mean here is that you just need the contrast and of course the grayscale. So if I could have done the bones with a pastel yellow, a very light one, this would be equally perfect but to me it helps me a little bit more if I'm using black and white because then I understand kind of better where are gonna be the shades and the lights and how the whole look is gonna be. Now, if you want to try different colors, for example, instead of black, use a burgundy or something like that. Just because you have burgundy and you don't have black, it's completely fine. And that's the point of black and white photography. You can be completely free at your color palette. And let me, let me ask you here, are you interested to see a full face makeup, kind of wearable one? just for black and white photography like do you want to see how crazy i can be there if yes don't forget to leave a comment down below in general leave me what you want to see all your requests be sure that every time you say something i immediately write it at my notebook and it's going to the to do videos because sometimes you have very very creative ideas and sometimes you give me ideas for things that I haven't even thought about so please please write a comment about what you want to see this helps me a lot can you guess the next step of course it's the black so I'm gonna take my black body paint this is from Snazaru and I'm gonna fill all the gaps in order to create a void. So the idea for this makeup is to photograph it against my black curtain. I don't know if you have seen this part of my setup. If not, I'm gonna include it in a vlog, but I think that I have shown it to you and it's not that new in my collection. And this is actually very helpful as an idea because all the black parts obviously will be disappear on the black curtain and this is gonna be so cool at least it's so cool in my mind we will see we will see where we will end up actually today i'm kind of in a hurry like i should not take a lot of time in order to do the makeup but i'm not sure that i'm gonna achieve that uh, i'm gonna try to do it as fast as possible and i thought that since it's black and white I think that I can escape with some less colors and hopefully this will make the whole procedure faster. Well, do you see all this mess here? It's because I applied some white eyeshadow powder on my bones in order to make them as white as possible. And then I grab the palette from Morphe and James Charles and from this palette I took the black shade and then I applied on the black body paint in order to make it more opaque. So basically I'm gonna clean all 
the white residues by using again the same black and just tapping it on. Well, you're probably wondering why I have done the black part here at my neck and the answer is pretty simple. Basically, I'm planning to do all the shading on my bones because remember, we're trying to do something realistic here and basically I know that I'm quite clumsy. Like, if you have been here for a while, you probably know this. If not, Welcome, hello, my name is Antigone, I love doing makeups, I love doing, you know, more body makeups, I would say, and face makeups, as you will see at the continuation of the video. Don't forget to subscribe, because I would be very, very happy to have you here with me. Now, without any further talking, because I'm very, very good at just talk, talk, talk a lot, and forget the point, I'm gonna take this little palette from We Makeup, I'm gonna take the great the great. No, it's just a grey shade, this one right here. Um, I have made this palette by myself, like I chose the colors, so I'm not sure about the names and they don't have something very specific, it's just a letter and then a number. Anyway, it's uh, the great matte from We Makeup and then I'm gonna take a small brush like this one and I'm gonna add some shadows on the bones in order to make them a little bit more realistic. I removed my glasses, I brought you a little bit closer and this really means one thing. I'm ready to start doing my face makeup. So, the first step is to glue my eyebrows because I'm planning to do a skull on my face and I don't really need the eyebrows to stick out. I don't think that I'm gonna do any color correction since the whole skull thing will be black and white again and the eyebrows will be on the black part. So really, 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 we don't need that. But I'm gonna make sure that I will apply a lot of powder because I'm gonna deal with watercolors and this glue is water activated. So I don't want to mess up the whole thing. Now, when it comes to the face makeup, the idea is to start with the eye makeup because I'm planning to do it completely black and actually I'm planning to use some eyeshadow instead of body paint because I feel that eyeshadow will be more stable on my eyelids because I have very, very oily eyelids and I don't want to risk with the body paint because I think that it will be activated and in the end I don't think that it's gonna look good. So I'm applying the primer as always Urban Decay and Primer Potion and then I'm planning to use Warping Palette and from this palette I'm gonna take the black shadow which is called Authentic and basically I'm planning to put it only on the lids while at this area I'm gonna go with just black body paint. I think that I'm quite spooky now, <laughs> what do you think? Next step is to take my white body paint and fill my face and I think that this is not gonna be enough so on the top I will apply some white eyeshadow to make sure that I will have a smooth, as smooth as possible, I would say, result. What do you think about the nose and the eyes? I mean, it's quite different. I like it, while I know how spooky it might look to you. Obviously, I skipped all the boring parts with me trying to create this pentagram and failing so hard, so I tried again and again, and then I had to recreate my base as well. It was a nightmare, let's say this. But if you're curious, I have used the black eyeshadow from World Paint Palette, this one right here, in order to create some shadows and there as well. And also, I have used my Epic Ink Eyeliner from NYX Professional Makeup in order to create the more sharp lines. Now, when it comes to the moons here, I have used a stamp from Milk Makeup. Let me find, yeah. Here we have it. So with this stamp, you can have the perfect, perfect moons. Now, what I'm doing is that I would like to create some parts like this with basically eyeliner and then have some shadows in order to make the skull be a little bit more realistic and with a little bit more depth. So basically, I'm first shaping the whole 
cavity, I would say, with the eyeliner and then I'm filling it with black eyeshadow in order to be able to diffuse it. And if you're wondering why I haven't done anything here around my lips area, I think the answer is pretty much obvious. It's because it takes a lot of time to create all these shadings and everything and I'm famous for the consumption of water that I'm doing because I drink a lot of water and I wouldn't like... I wouldn't like it as an idea to be limited because if I have the teeth there it's gonna be a very detailed pattern then it would be very very limited and I don't want that I want to enjoy my water anyway I'll continue with the patterns because I really want to finish some glasses of water and then go to the teeth and after a lot of shading, now it's time for the Greek word of the day. As you can see, today I turned myself into a skull and that's why I'm gonna tell you the Greek word for skull. So in Greek we say skeletos. Say with me. Skeletos. Skeletos. As always, I'm gonna ask you to try to write a comment down below using the word skeletos or tell me the word skeletos in your own native language. Okay, now it's time to do the mouth part. Actually, I will not say lips this time because the idea is to paint this whole area white with my white body paint, which I'm planning to start right away. And then I will apply some white powder and on the top I'm gonna try to draw some fake teeth. And this was our video for today. I hope that you enjoyed the concept. I hope that you enjoyed that we did something different today. Definitely do not forget to visit me at my Instagram, which is catladyandigoni. I'm gonna leave it down here as always, because there we will have the black and white photos, the whole result of this video, the whole purpose of this video. So definitely believe me, you wanna see it. Thank you so, so much for being here with me today. See you on Tuesday with a normal face makeup tutorial and until then bye bye